One of the most controversial drivers on the grid, Bubba Wallace, spoke about the next season and what the fans should expect from his team. Rest assured that Bubba is full of confidence when it comes to the upcoming Cup Series in 2023, and one huge factor in that is his pace, which has changed dramatically through the year. So what does Bubba Wallace think will happen next year, and are any of his claims creditable? Throughout the 2022 season, we've seen a very diverse version of Bubba Wallace. In the first half of the season, his results were extremely bad, up to the point where his departure from the sport was being mentioned. However, in the second half of the season, Wallace managed to find some pace and was the best version of himself, which is why he was even able to win a race in Kansas. Still, Bubba thinks that there is much more to come in the 2023 season, and people should expect a lot out of his team in the years to come, but we'll get to that later in this video. Let's start with Wallace's 2022 season and why he thinks that the upcoming one will be much better. As we already mentioned earlier in this video, Wallace was able to find an extraordinary pace in the second half of the season, something that has propelled 2311 racing into the winning positions in Kansas. Still, this is far from the full potential of 2311 racing, as Wallace himself said that although it was a decent season, the team is looking to strike back even stronger in the 2023 Cup Series. It goes without saying that Wallace's 2022 season was one full of controversies, and one huge factor in that was his behavior during the Las Vegas race. Throughout the race, Larson passed Wallace, and while the move was nerve-wracking for the driver being passed, Larson's actions were not illegal. Still, Wallace was furious and went on to deliberately crash into Larson, effectively ruining Christopher Bell's race due to the fact that the JGR driver was taken out as collateral damage. That is something that has hurt Wallace's reputation and his stability as a driver. And prior to him talking about progress being made on track in 2023, there is definitely some work he needs to do off the track and on his personality. Following the race, it was clear that Wallace was enraged by his actions, as he stated that something like this should never happen again and that he should react much better in such situations. When talking about this matter, Wallace said, I want to apologize for my actions on Sunday following the on-track incident with Kyle Larson and the number 5 car. I compete with immense passion, and with passion at times comes frustration. Upon reflecting, I should have represented our partners and core team values better than I did by letting my frustrations follow me outside of the car. On top of that, Wallace said that his actions do not reflect 2311 racing or any of his partners, and vowed to do a better job in the future if he is to face another situation like this. Wallace is part of 2311 Racing from 2020 on, and although he believes there will be immense progress from 2023 and beyond, there are lots of things he needs to work on. The penalty for his actions in Las Vegas was really minor when it comes to the NASCAR community, with Wallace being suspended for only one race. However, there have been rumors that Wallace was fined $1 million by the owner of the team, Michael Jordan, and if this is true, then Wallace would be in big trouble due to the fact that he only earns $2 million per season. Still, the penalty out of NASCAR should have been much harsher. According to reports, and one of the fiercest critics of Bubba Wallace and the penalty he has received is Kyle Petty. The ex-NASCAR driver and current analyst believes that Wallace should have been penalized by not participating in any weekends until the end of the season. Because this isn't the first time Wallace has been involved in controversies and he should be properly penalized for his actions. He should have been suspended for the rest of the year. Rest of the year. He drives for Denny Hamlin, who has been vocal about safety. His teammate, Kurt Busch, the only reason he's in the number 45 car is his teammate's career was all but ended because of an accident in this car that the drivers have vocalized that it needs to be safer. He turns a guy in the right rear into the outside wall intentionally, steering brake, that's laughable, turns a guy into the outside wall then walks across the racetrack, first you intentionally wreck somebody, that's a suspension, He's walking across the racetrack and cars are going by him on both sides. That's not safe. That should be another suspension. Physically confronts a driver, shoves him. That's a physical confrontation. If I do that on the sidewalk, I'm in handcuffs somewhere. So he physically confronts this driver, shoves an official, doesn't get in an ambulance, walks back to the pits, and then stands and bold-faced tells a fib. The lesson should be the rest of the year. Just the rest of the year. That's just me. Still, Bubba has emphasized multiple times that everything is in the past now, and he is more than happy to focus on the future and on the upcoming season in the Cup Series. With that being said, let's see what Bubba thinks can be accomplished in the 2023 season. Obviously, every driver is entering the season with a little bit of enthusiasm, but it seems like Wallace has done it with some pretty intense enthusiasm. While explaining his expectations for the next season, Wallace added that 2311 Racing is now in a much better position than they were earlier this season, adding, 
100%. Just having conversations about how we are so much better as a team and as a manufacturer from Phoenix 1 to Phoenix 2, it just makes you think about how much better you'll be starting the year off. It took us all year to figure out this car. We're still figuring it out day by day. Having the right people in our camp and back at the shop figuring all that out to get us ready and prepped for the next year is super exciting. What goes into this explanation is the fact that Wallace has never talked positively about entering a season. And this is the first time that we are actually hearing a lot of positive feedback from him when it comes to the near future. Wallace's performance has improved significantly late in the season. And one major reason for this is that he has struggled to adapt to the next-gen cars, a problem shared by many drivers on the grid. However, once Bubba understood his assignment, the results started to come in, and that is why Wallace thinks that this is a momentum his team can carry over into the next season. And if we're being frankly honest, this is a situation that the NASCAR community can see coming. For example, Wallace's 2022 campaign was truly a roller coaster, but the fact that it ended on a high note just goes to show that the team is on the right track. On top of that, Wallace is a guy that is always ready to learn, and although the next-gen car learning process took some time for the 2311 racing driver, rest assured that once he gets a full grasp on this thing, then the rest of the field will be in big trouble. Aside from the outburst issues, Wallace had some issues with his pit crew, and he received a pit crew swab from JGR's Christopher Bell. After this move, the improvement was evident with Wallace and with his pit stops, something that has enabled him to score decent results. But if Wallace wants to enter the season on a high note, then improvements in his behavior and in his actions need to be made immediately. He cannot allow one more outburst like he had in Las Vegas, and that is something that he knows in his heart. Still, time will tell whether Wallace has matured as a person and learned how to behave in situations where the adrenaline can get the best out of him. I gotta think before you do, going back and looking from a 10,000 foot view definitely could have handled everything way different. I put myself in a bad light, I put our team in a bad light, our sponsors. It's just something that I'm not proud of. Moving on, moving forward, you are not allowed to make that mistake. With that being said, what do you think about Wallace and his future as a 2311 racing driver? Do you think that this team will make some noise in 2023? Let us know in the comments below.